Guarini's problem is one of the earliest chessboard puzzles that dates back to 1512. This puzzle involves four knights, two white and two black, at the four corners of a small 3x3 three three chessboard. The problem is to exchange the places of the white knights and the black knights. If you have not played chess before, a knight can move on a chessboard by going two squares in any horizontal or vertical direction and then turning either left or right one more square. I urge you to try to solve this puzzle yourself before I reveal how to solve it. You can pause the video in 3, 2, 1. If you have solved this problem, you should have observed its underlying basic structure. This simple structure comes from two things. One, the geometry of the board and two, how knights are allowed to move. Let us see how to solve this puzzle. Let us mark the knight's positions as A, B, C and D. First we observe that the possible position A can move to are only these two. From there, the next position it can move to are either B or C. Similarly, for other knights, we mark the other positions they can move to and join the paths. What we have obtained is a diagram called a graph, which can be unfolded in this way. The underlying structure of the graph immediately emerges. The graph, which looked so complicated, now looks very simple. In fact, it is just a single cycle. So now the solution to the problem should be completely clear. In order to exchange places, the knights have no choice at all. But they have to go around this cycle, all in same direction, either clockwise or counterclockwise, until their positions are exactly exchanged. Guarini's problem illustrates the way in which mathematical abstraction can clear the messy details of a problem. This general process of turning a problem into a graph is so useful and so natural that an entire area of mathematics called graph theory has evolved to study only the properties of such graphs. Here is an exercise for you. Now we have 6 knights, 3 white and 3 black on opposite sides of a 4 by 3 chessboard. Find the minimum number of moves required for these knights to exchange places. This variant of Guarini's problem appeared in Scientific American in the December 1979 issue. A solution was given the following month. If you don't have access to such journals, I am posting a link in the video description from where you can find a solution. Please subscribe to the channel to support us to create more interesting videos.